everyone, welcome back to Brush and Bubbles. My name is Lara and today we are going to be doing another painting tutorial. For those of you who follow us on Instagram, we did a competition a couple of weeks ago asking you guys what you would like to paint and we have a lovely winner and they have chosen an amazing subject. It is the Monstrella deliciosa plant, which is also known as the Swiss cheese plant. They are these sort of big sort of palm-like looking leaves with holes in them. I absolutely love these plants and I have one at home so I'm really excited to do this painting. We're going to be doing a block colour for our background and our winner has um, requested that we do a peach coloured background so that's what I'm going to be doing here and I think it's a really good choice. Equally you can just change up your background to do whatever you would like to do with your painting. So without further ado let's just talk through what you're going to need to create this painting at home. Firstly just cover up your table with some tablecloth or old newspaper. I've got a canvas, this is an 8x10 size canvas, a palette for my paints, two different size paintbrushes, a square shaped one and then a small pointy one for the details, some kitchen towel, a cup of water and some acrylic paints. So I would go grab yourself a drink of choice, you can pop on some music if you want and just set yourself up, relax, unwind and then let's get started with the painting. I've got some yellow, pink, magenta, white, blue and then three different shades of green, a sort of dark teal green, a mid green, and then a lighter yellow shade of green. To start with, we're just gonna pick up our medium brush and mix up the color for our background. So like I mentioned, I'm going for a light peach shade, but equally you can mix up any color that you like. So for this, I'm just gonna start with a lot of white as my base. We just want to make sure that we're mixing up enough paint that's gonna cover the whole background of our canvas. I'm then going to add a tiny bit of my pink magenta and also a tiny bit of yellow and give it a good mix. Once you're happy with your background colour, we can then just move over to our canvas and paint the entire thing with this shade. You might even want to do two coats, so I would do the first coat. You could even leave it to dry for a little bit and then go ahead and do another coat if you want to, but just cover it all up. Once you've covered your background, you just want to leave it to dry or you can give it a quick dry with the hairdryer. We're now gonna move on to painting in our leaves. So for this, we just want to pick up our small brush and we want to start by mixing up a darker shade of green. So I'm gonna pick up some blue and move it over to a different dish. And then I'm gonna add some of my dark green and then also some of my mid green and give it a good mix. I'm now just gonna add a touch of white to this mixture, basically because white paint helps make the paint more opaque. So it's nice and thick and not see-through. So I've got a sort of turquoise teal color here, and I'm just brushing off any excess paint on my palette before I go into my painting. And what we're gonna to start to do is just draw in where we want our first leaf to go. So you can have as many as you like, they can be as big or as small as you like, but I quite like the idea of having them coming off the side of the canvas. So to start with, I'm just going to draw in the vein of the leaf, and this is going to help us create the shape around it. So I'm just going to come off from the right hand side, and with a very light touch, I'm just going to curve my paintbrush stroke down till I get to about there on my canvas, remembering that the leaves are gonna come out all around it. You can then just wrap this around the side of your canvas as well. What we're now gonna do is start drawing in the shapes of our leaf. So they come in different shapes and sizes, which is the best thing about painting these kind of paintings because you can do any shape and size that you want. You can be very wobbly with your paintbrush. You don't have to be neat. Anything goes really because we're painting something that's completely natural and every leaf is different. So I'm just adding some water to my paint before I go back in. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start by creating the shape at the very tip of our leaf. So it's sort of almost like a triangle shape at the very top. So I'm gonna draw that, leaving a gap. So 
And I'm just going to bring it in slightly so it looks like it's about to be a diamond shape. What we're then going to do is just curve this line out and this is going to be our second sort of segment of leaf. And I'm going to square it off slightly. We're following the same line as this diamond shape we've already got. I'm then going to just wrap it around again and curve it at that end. Essentially, we're going to do this all the way down our leaf. But we're just going to bring each one up a little bit higher and they'll be slightly bigger before they curve back round and down again. So you're starting to get this sort of cheese leaf shape in there. You would also see it coming off the side here, so I'm just going to add a curve there, again wrapping it around the sides. I'm then going to do the same on the other side. I'm just going to pick up some more paint and I'm just going to start doing the same formula. So just curving it around. My first leaf is going to be fairly small. Second one's going to be slightly bigger. Just pick up more paint as you need to. What's nice about this is once we get the shape in, we can then afterwards make it bigger and wider and longer if we want to. you've got your rough shape of the leaf on your canvas. What we're now going to do is just add the circles or ovals or holes that are within the leaf. So these are quite random actually, so you can just start drawing them in and they don't have to be neat. It's quite nice if they've got shape to them. We're just going to start drawing a couple of these in now so we know not to cover them up when we fill in our leaf. Once you have the very rough shape of your first leaf on your canvas, we're just going to go ahead and fill it in with that same colour. What we want to do is just give it a block colour that we can then build on top of with other shades of green. And it's also quite a nice way to then assess if you want to change the shape of your leaf at all. So just go ahead and fill in your whole leaf. Once you've filled in all of your leaf, we can then go back in and just change the shape up slightly if you feel like you need to. So I'm just picking up some of the same colour. I'm just going to go back in and carefully just define some of these edges a little bit more. I might bring them out slightly. I'm just going to start building up the shape even more. And with these leaves, often what happens is they do come out a little bit at the end. So you can just start adding in those details now. What we want to do now, and while the paint of our leaf is still wet, is we just want to start adding in some other shades of green on top, just to give a little bit of texture and tone and highlight. So I'm just picking up some of my mid green, and you can just start working this in quite randomly to the leaves of your plant. So I'm just going to start adding it in while the paint is still wet, blending it in as well, just giving a few different tones and texture into the leaf. You can then pick up maybe your lighter shade of green and add that in there. And if you haven't got that shade, you can just mix it up using blue and yellow. But we're just going to start adding a few different tones and textures into our leaf. So once you've added a little bit more tone and texture with a different shade of green into your leaf, we can then do exactly the same again, but going even lighter. So with my small brush, I'm just going to pick up some of my mid shade green 
my darker shade green and then I'm going to add some white to it and give it a good mix. If you haven't got different shades of green, you can just mix them up using blue and yellow. If you've got one shade, you could mix some blue into the green, you could mix some yellow into the green, some white. You can just start making your own shades of green. So with this lighter shade, I'm just going to add a tiny touch of water to it. And then I'm going to go back in and start figuring out where I want some of the highlight in my leaf to be. And you probably have lost that middle sort of vein or stem if you wish. So you might just want to sort of draw that back in just to remember the curve of your leaf and where you'd originally place it. So once you've got that back in there, you can then just start adding different tones to your leaves. So I'm just going to focus these maybe on like the sort of bottom side of the leaf, blend it in with the paint underneath. If you've got too much paint on your brush, you can dab it off and go back in. We're just slowly building up a few different shades and colour. Don't feel like you need to be neat at all. You can be very sort of abstract and blobby, almost quite crisscrossy with your movements. We just want to start building up those different colours of green. What we're then going to do is lighten up our green even more. So I'm just going to add some more white to this shade. So what we want to do with this nice light shade of green is just go back in and re-accentuate where that stem or vein is just to add a pop of highlight to it, just so we can see where it is. We can also do with that colour is then start adding it in to sections as well, just to overly accentuate. If you've got too much paint on your brush, just add it to your canvas, dab it off on your tissue and then go back in. And because the paint underneath is still wet, it should blend in quite nicely. What you can then do if you want to is just pick up a tiny bit of yellow and add it to your green just to give it more of a yellowy tone and then you can go back in with this yellow and add some more detail so again you might want to re-highlight where the stem is using some of this yellow so you can just draw a line in and then you might also just want to go back in and add a tiny touch of this to your leaf it just gives it more of a sort of warm hue and it's quite a tropical leaf and plant so it's quite nice just to add a tiny bit of warmth in there with this slightly more yellow shade of green. So before we move on to our next leaf what we can do is just add a few extra details. So I've just squared off this leaf slightly so I've just given it a slightly more pointy edge and if you look at pictures or if you've got one of these plants at home you'll see that they do have a few little tiny pointy edges on some of the leaves so if you want to you can go in and add a couple to your painting so here for example i'm just going to bring it out slightly so that corner is a little bit more pointed and i'm just using that original dark shade so you might want to do this to a couple of your other leaves as well. So you can just add a tiny bit of water if you want to, to your paint and then go back in and you can just give the edge of the leaf a little bit more of a point. So whenever you're happy with your first leaf, we're now going to move on to the second one. And you can place this wherever you like. I think I'm going to have mine coming out from the bottom section. I'm just going to mix up some of that darker shade so I can do exactly the same as we did with the first leaf. So that was just the blue, darker green, mid green, and give it a good mix. You can then add a tiny bit of white to this and mix it up again. Once you're happy with your first shade, we're just going to go on and draw in our second leaf. And this is going to be very similar to how we did the first one. So I would again just start by doing that vein of the leaf, that sort of curve shape. You can place this wherever you like. Just start very gradually and paint it on. And then I'm going to go in and draw the very top section, so the pointy sort of diamond-like shape that we have here. 
We're then going to curve around to our first leaf. Again, just doing the exact same thing. So every single time you do a leaf, they get a little bit bigger and slightly longer and wider as well. We're now going to do the same on the other side. Just like we did with our first leaf, we're just going to fill this in with a block colour using that dark shade. So what we're going to do now is just go back in with the same technique of just adding different shades of green and building up our leaf with all of these different tones and textures to start getting in all of the different variety of shades that are within these cheese plant leaves. So just start picking up your different greens and again just mixing them up over the top of the colour that you've already got there. Again you can just draw in that sort of curve if you wish. Just start building up the different shades, getting lighter and lighter, exactly how you did with the first one. Once you've filled in your second leaf, I'm just going to pick up some of that original dark green I've had and go back in and add in those sort of pointed edges on some of these leaves. So this is your opportunity to decide if you want to add another leaf in coming in from one of the edges or anything like that or if you want to add any more texture or tone or highlight to your leaves. What I'm going to do now is just mix up a last bit of white paint with the green to make a nice light shade and I'm just going to go in and add a tiny tiny bit of highlight to my leaves. So I'm going to dash off most of the paint from my brush. I'll start with the, the vein of the leaf and then I might just add a few extra little dashes of highlight to some of the leaves. So once you've finished adding in all of the details that you want to your painting, you have completed your Monstera Deliciosa plant masterpiece.